Atomics is a New Zealand brand with big ambitions. It wants to become one of the biggest suppliers of mass-produced boats in the world. Established in 2004, it builds sports boats, fishing boats like this one behind me, RIBs, tenders and personal watercraft all for the international market and it's been available in Australia for the last three years. Since the arrival of the Atomics brand in Australia, they've made more than 100 changes to the superstructure to make these boats more suitable for our market. But the one thing they haven't changed is the hull. It was designed by world-renowned New Zealander Brett Bakewell White for rough offshore conditions, making it ideal for use here. Today we're going to test one of the bigger boats in the range, the Atomics 600 Targa, and I can't wait to see how it performs. Like most fibreglass boats, the Atomics has a fairly sharp dead rise to help it cut cleanly through the water and reverse chines to give it lift and stability. But the Atomics also has two other unique features that make this an exceptional blue water boat. Firstly, it has what Atomics calls a spray deflector. This is a 30 mm lip that runs just under the gunnel and it's designed to push any spray away from the boat. It also has Portofino pods built into the transom. They push the boat onto the plane a lot quicker than a conventional hull and add to its stability at rest. One of the features I really like about this Atomic 600 Targa is the electric anchor, especially here in WA when we tend to anchor a lot when we fish, or even if you're taking the family out for a picnic. You can access the bow around the front, or you can go through the cabin and out the hatch, but how much easier is life if you can just simply do this? The first thing you notice when you step into this cabin is the nice clean finish and that's due to the two-piece construction method that Atomics uses. The other thing that's hard not to notice is this liberal use of premium materials that gives the cabin a real feel of class. The other thing I really like is that everything is neatly stowed away but also easy to access. So this latch here gives us access to the electric anchor so if anything does happen to go wrong you can get to it and fix it. Same on this side of the cabin. All very neat but open this up and all the electrics are there, easy to get to and easy to fix if you need to. As you can see, there's plenty of space in here. I've got lots of headroom, plenty of space for my legs, and this space here in the middle can also be used for a porta potty. And on those nights or those days where you go fishing and you get caught, you just simply put the infill in, lay down and get a good night's sleep. One of the features on the Atomic 600 Targa that you're not going to find on many of its competitors is this solid lockable sliding door into the cabin. It not only provides a bit of security if you need to use the porter toilet or even if you're sleeping at night, but as we have on this occasion, it becomes a great place to keep all of your valuables stored safe and dry. The wraparound windscreen and the high sides in the helm area make you feel really cosseted and safe in this boat. And the Targa is a really good size. It extends forward past the windscreen to offer you plenty of protection from the sun and far enough back so that you and the passenger are always going to be protected. On the passenger side, there's a really well-placed grab rail just in case the conditions get a little bit rough and also some really good storage here. The only thing that I think is missing on this side is a foot rail, but that's when you've got this door here, you just can't simply have both and I'd take the door any time. The large dash area is one of those changes that Atomics has made to the Australian boats. And as you can see, there's plenty of room for a lot of instruments. This boat is set up with all Simrad gear. We've got the Simrad NSS7 electronics package. We've got the Mercury Vessel View 7. We've also got a Simrad radio, Simrad audio. And then of course, we've got the windlass to operate the anchor. The driver and passenger seats are both gas pedestal seats that swivel, as you can see here. The thing I really like about these seats is not only that they're quite curved, which means that they, they hold you really well while you're driving and sitting down, but they have a bolster here so that you can set the seat up to drive standing or sitting. I prefer to drive standing, that's my natural position. So this, with the seating in this position, I've got easy access to the, to the controls, I've got great access to the steering wheel. If I want to sit down, it's a simple matter of just pulling this down, putting the seat back, and it's quite a comfortable seat. And as you can see, there's a footrest here to make sure that I can stay in place and again, easy access to the controls, good, good access to the steering wheel and everything that I need is right there in front of me. The cockpit on this boat's a pretty good size and I like these high gunnels. It means that if you're fishing, you've got some really good area to lean into here and as you can see, there's enough space there for at least two fishermen. Under here, we've got some storage where you can put your rods, your boat holders, those sorts of things. We've also got rod holders up here so there's plenty of room for extra rods. 
and it's got a really good sized kill tank as you can see. The other really important thing for me in terms of fishing boats is have a look at the treading on the floor. It's all non-slip and of course it's self-draining. At the back here we've got access to the batteries and all the electrics so that if we need to get to them it's very easy to get to. And then in the back corners you'll notice that there's a nice seat in each side. So if for the trip out you sit here and it's very comfortable, in fact it's very comfortable with your elbows sitting up here on the gunnel and then when you get to your fishing spot it's just a matter of unclipping them, lifting them out and you're creating another little fishing area. The Portofino pods stationed on either side of the Mercury 150 horsepower engine are an important design element of this boat. They, they help get the boat up on a plane a lot quicker and they also help with stability at rest. And the one on the port side also houses the all important ladder that helps you get in and out of the water, just that little bit easier. They're also one of the best finished boats I've seen in a long time. And this boat rides well, handles all types of conditions, and most importantly, it's dry. It also comes with a 10-year structural guarantee.